Well, Leaf fans, it's officially over. The long-awaited uh, extension talks about Nylander resigning the Leafs have officially come to the end. William Nylander has officially resigned the Leafs for eight more years. Eight more years. An eight-year extension for $92 million for eight years. $11.5 million a year. Good deal or good deal. Good deal or bad deal. We'll get into that. But here is the uh, official word on it. So, yeah, William Nylander is, has resigned the Leafs for eight more years. A leading point. Point. Get her for the Maple Leafs. This could be in Toronto. It could be sticking in Toronto for some time. Here we go. So, here we go. Eight from Sportsnet. Maple Leafs signed with them need an eight-year, $92 million contract extension. And the Leafs announced it. The Leafs announced it today on their, on their Twitter, 11.50 a.m., so kind of recently. Recently, there was hints about it over the weekend that they were getting close, and officially comes. And if the word was they wanted to wait till their the rest of wood trip, rest of wood road trip was over. As you know, they were in the West Coast. They played in the Kings, LA Kings, Anaheim, and San Jose. They wanted to wait till that is over because they're coming back home to face San Jose, and they're gonna be home for about a week. So yeah, they wanted to wait. So so what is the contract? Carries an average value of eleven point five. 11.5 million and it's the largest contract in Maple Leafs history total by total value. So what that means is it's the most money any leaf is getting in total value, 92 million. Yes, Matthews is signed for four or five, four or five years. I'm not exactly sure. He's getting 13 point something million, but not the total since he's getting 13 point million for I think it's four years. Yeah, four years Matthews signed. He's getting around 13 million. But since that's 13 million for four years. His total value is obviously is not going to be come to uh, ninety two million. So yeah, Matthews might be making more a year, but over time, over time, making less in total. Yeah, and yeah, he has a couple of big ways, fifty four points, thirty seven games, and yeah. So Neander is officially sticking around in Toronto for eight years. He was scheduled to become a free agent, and the way he's playing. And if he didn't get the way he definitely his definitely if he's definitely re up his value he definitely his value he uh his value went up based on the seasons having fifty four points thirty seven games of pace for a hundred point season right so he definitely his value definitely went up as his good season his good seasons trucking along and that definitely that definitely helped him and at least made sure you know to get this guy up because he was definitely gonna get the, he was gonna because he's a free agent he was definitely gonna get some offers. Offers a free agency if the Leafs did not did not go did not try to resign him now, right? If they decided, yeah, you know what, we'll just let him go free agency. No, 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 that's not the case. They wouldn't let this guy go. Now, so eleven point five million. So that doesn't count against this year. It starts next year. It starts next year, right? He's getting paid but he's this year on his previous contract. But next season is when his new contract comes into effect. Eleven point five million is a lot. Yes, the cap is going up. From 83 to 87 million, four to five million more. But since with Marner, Marner has a year left, 11, I think about 11 million. Matthews can make his next, his the, on his contract he signed in the offseason. Same with Nealander, same kind of rules with Nealander applies. His, he's gonna start to make it 13 million. So that's about 25, 24, 25 million between Nealander and, and, Matthews next year, along with Marner, who's making about 11. That's about 35. They got Tavares, who also is making about 11 million. So it's a, you get close to about 50, 45 to 50 million on four players. But but Marner and Tavares are both free agents after next season. They have one more year later. You're left. They're eligible for extensions. This is going to be, this is going to be, uh, the, 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 Toronto's got to be, they're going to be trouble, man. They're going to be cap troubles later on. They got to hope this, they have to hope the cap the next two years goes up like to 15 million from 83 to like 95 million. And I don't think it's the case. Most likely it will go up from 83 to like 93, 94 million because <laughs> it's going up to 87 million next, most likely. And then probably another four or five million in the next offseason. And that's, and obviously they probably want to keep Marner around. And that's going to be the, the, this the, the sacrificial lamb here is gonna be Tavares. Now, if they want to keep Tavares around too, they're gonna to have to they're gonna to have to ask him to take a pay cut, right? And uh and Tavares, well, still not really really elite, he's still really productive, right? He's still very valuable. He's still valuable as a second line center right now, especially on Toronto. 
He might be a first-line center on other teams, so I don't know. I wouldn't pay first-line center money but because he's in his 30s. But, yeah, uh, it's – Tavares might be the one who has to take the pay cut. And the thing is, Martin, what is Martin going to do? $11 million? And I think the Martin was an overpay, too, at the time that we signed him because he wasn't – he didn't get to the – he didn't become an elite elite till now because he is elite now. But when we signed an extension, he wasn't elite. Uh, it's – and then you got to put a whole team around them, right? Right? Right, guys? I mean, it's a hard cap. It's not a soft cap. There's no luxury tax. So, it's they're going to be cap, this uh, management, cap crunch, man. They're going to have to do a lot of work on how to put a team in the future. And <laughs> cheap deals, cheap one year deals, try to get people on discounts. Um, draft, draft players who are entry level contracts. I'm um, like, Matthew Nice, who looks pretty good, right? Matthew Nice looks pretty good. Uh, Joseph Law, who I think is the goal of the future, looks pretty good. Yeah, um, it's going to be for the next few years. Uh, next few years, the Leafs are going to have to be very careful with the cap. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments down below.